In this video, we'll be looking at the utilities that Carlson Software offers for 3D polylines. They are located under the Edit menu in Carlson with the heading 3D Polyline Utilities. You'll notice that we're running Carlson 2012 with the IntelliCAD engine. I have a drawing open that has some 3D polylines in it. So the first thing we should probably do is verify that. So we'll go to View 3D Viewer window select our polylines and view these in 3D and confirm that yes in fact we do have 3D polylines. With that confirmed let's go back to the edit menu and look at some of the 3D polyline utilities. First one on the list is offset 3D polyline. This offers several different options. You can use an interval which we'll be showing here where we specify a vertical and horizontal offset. The constant offset will offset the polyline to a specific elevation. Variable offset allows you to offset at different intervals for each segment. Offsetting to a surface will offset it to that distance but match the elevations of a specified surface. Multiple offsets allows you to specify using a table the slope type, the offset distance, and the layer that those th the offset should go to. The slope projection is perpendicular to the polyline or if you choose it can be perpendicular to the slope of the polyline. Alright, we're going to do the interval option here. We'll click OK. It prompts for our horizontal offset. So let's say we're going to offset this 10 feet. For the vertical offset we can specify this as a fixed vertical amount, a distance or we can use a percentage or a ratio. In this case we'll tell it to offset it 5 feet. We pick a polyline and decide to offset it to and we now have the offset polyline. If we check the endpoints on each of these and you watch the elevation down here, the first endpoint is at 224, the other one is at 219, which would put them five feet apart. So it went up five feet. All right. We can also take a quick look at one of the other options for the 3D offset. Let's take a look at the multiple option. This is the kind of table that you would receive and you can come in and specify different horizontal offsets. You have options for percent, ratio, or vertical offset. This one is set to ratio. So then we can go ahead and specify what that vertical offset is, the layer we want it to go to, and here I'm putting these on two different layers so we can see the difference between a vertical offset and a horizontal ratio offset. Go ahead and click OK. We'll pick this polyline and pick this side. So you can see we got both offsets. This one is on the 3D polyline layer. So that was the first one that was being offset at a 3 to 1 ratio. And then we have this one that was being offset by a vertical amount. And it's on the 3D polyline layer. All right. So there's a couple different options for how to do 3D offsets. Moving right along on our list of 3D polyline utilities, we can fillet a 3D polyline. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to add a 3D polyline over here that will fill it. We'll start at the endpoint here, tag it there and there, and then we'll run our command. It asks if we want to do a corner or an intersection. So in this case we're doing a corner because it's a single 3D polyline. If these were two separate 3D polylines it would be an intersection. Radius we want to use. 10 feet sounds reasonable. We pick our polyline and it puts in our fillet. This fillet of course is a segmented polyline. Lots of vertices in there. So that's pretty straightforward. To break a 3D polyline, we select the polyline, we can give it a first point, 
and let's see if we can do an end point there. And then for the second point, we're going to do the end point over here, and we take out our fillet. With that done, now we're ready to move ahead. Look at our next option. Moving on to our, our next option here. We're going to join 3D polylines. And again, to join 3D polylines is fairly straightforward. You simply select the polyline to join and the other one you want to join and we're done. One limitation on this is it only joins two 3D polylines. So for instance, if I have a 3D polyline that runs between these two 3D polylines and I want to join those three, I'll need to run the command twice so I can join this 3D polyline with this one and then hit enter and I can join this one to this one. So I now have a single 3D polyline. So just be aware of that little difference there. We also can add points by two slopes. So to do this one, I'm going to actually come back to where we started over here and draw a 3D polyline from here over to here. So we have a nice straight slope and we can come in and tell it we want to add wrong command. We want to add points by two slopes. Pick the polyline we're going to add the points to. Our first point on the polyline is here. The percent slope from there, let's say, is 10%. It is a percentage. The second point will deliberately set at the midpoint of the line and tell it the slope from there needs to be 20%. So what it does is create a point in between. So we're sloping 10% to here, 20% to here, and then back to the original point. So it gives us some grading capabilities working with these polylines. We can also add points at elevation. So if we add a 3D polyline from here to here, if we look at this line, it starts at 219 and it ends at 204. So if we come in and tell it to add points at elevation, we can do single elevations. So we could put in 215, 216.75 and add a point that way. So we'll do a single and let's do 215.75. We select our polyline and now our polyline has an extra vertex at the elevation specified. If we use an interval, then it's going to look for even increments. So it won't be doing things like 0.75. If we do two foot increments, it's going to find every even two foot point on our entity. And as we look at these, we've got 218, 216, 214, and so on, with even intervals going down our polyline. This could be helpful if we're going to be using this 3D polyline to create contours. We now have points to snap to to create those contours. So this gives you a brief introduction to our 3D polyline utilities for offsetting, creating fillets, breaking 3D polylines, join 3D polylines together, adding points based on two slopes, or adding points at an elevation. We'll have an additional segment on 3D polyline utilities uh, that are available in our civil module under the 3D data menu uh, since there are several there that are not included in the edit menu. So if you have the civil module, definitely look into that second video on 3D polyline utilities in civil.